So this one's not going to hurt your noodle too much because we're not doing a lot of maths. We're just setting up equations. We're not solving them. So let's talk about something you already know about. If two things are directly proportional, we write it as x being directly proportional to y, or a being directly proportional to y. The important bit here is this directly proportional to. Now, if two things are directly proportional, as an equation, we can write x equals ky, where k is some number. Now, we also have inversely proportional. Now, two things are inversely proportional, and we write it as 1 over y. This says that x is inversely proportional to y. And when we write that as an equation, we get x equals k over y. All right, that's all the information we need to get started on this stuff. So now that I've set that up, our first question here doesn't really have a lot to do with that at all. So we can put that aside for a second. So it's a curve whose gradient at any given point is equal to the x-coordinate squared. All right, so the gradient of a curve is given by dy dx, and that's going to be equal to the x-coordinate squared. All right, that's what we mean by setting up a differential equation, looking at some words and creating a differential equation from those words. Now, our next one here is slightly more complicated. The gradient of a curve, y equals f of x, is proportional or directly proportional to the cube root of the y coordinate. All right, so we're looking at a rate of change again because we're looking at the gradient, and we know that it is directly proportional, directly proportional to the cube root of the y coordinate. All right, and if we know that, we can rewrite that as an equation. dy dx is equal to some constant k cube root y. Now, I need to be careful there. I'm going to put that cube root right, right with that one right there. k times the cube root of y. So the next one here, the population of a town is decreasing at a rate that is directly proportional to the population at that time. Okay, so population is changing at a rate. Population with respect to time. Look for that word rate. That's indicating that we've got a differential equation on our hands. Is directly proportional to the population at a given time. And we can write that as an equation dp dt is equal to some constant k p. Now, I just want to stop here for a second because it says that the population is decreasing uh, at a rate with respect to time. Uh, that means that that k value is going to be negative. You don't need to write in negative k here. In a future video, we'll figure out what the value of k is if we've got more information. But for now, just writing k p. k could be positive or negative, but in this case, it's going to be negative because it's decreasing. All right, so this one's a little strange because it says the rate of a chemical reaction is inversely proportional to the total amount of reactants. So let's step through this one. We say that the rate with respect to time is equal, to, oh, sorry, is uh, inversely proportional to, so 1 over x, the number of reactants present. Uh, now, this is a strange one. Before I talk about why, let's just go one more step here. We say that that's dv dt equals not 1 over x, but k over x. k is our constant here. All right, I find this one a little bit strange because it's dv dt, but our uh, variable here, x, is neither dv, is neither v or t. Okay, so we've got, we'd have some work to do here if we were differentiating that, but uh, we don't have to do that. We're just setting up the equation. So the rate at which a balloon rises, uh, what does it do? It varies directly with the height, h, of the balloon. So the rate at which the height, the height of the balloon changes. All right, so height with respect to time is directly proportional to uh, the height of the balloon itself. And we can, of course, write this as an equation, dh dt equals k h. All right, last one here, and I've already gotten myself started. The rate of change of the speed of a car. So uh, the velocity with respect to time, um, it is proportional, proportional to the square root of time cubed. All right, so you need to be really careful when you read that question. The square root of time 
cubed. Now, when we go through this one, we can now write dv dt equals, and then it's directly proportional, so we get a nice little k here, square root of t cubed. All right, so that k is outside of that. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I disagree, and I think so too. The question is ambiguous. Um, they really need to do, or maybe I need to do a better job of writing this question, because we could do an alternative. We could say that the rate of change with respect to time is directly proportional to the square root of t cubed. And if that was our interpretation, we would say that dv dt is equal to k root t cubed. Now, I think both of these answers are valid given the way that this question has been written. So happy with both of these answers. Someone should write that question a little bit better. All right, that is setting up differential equations.